Welcome to the Author Friendly Podcast. This is your host, Carla King, talking with the people behind the products, tools, and services, those companies that you're wondering about when you're starting to self-publish, or even when you're farther along in your publishing journey. This podcast was inspired by the Consumer's Guide for Self-Publishers, a project I started long ago that has completely gotten out of control. I've made it a web book and it's free. You can go to authorfriendly.com and get it by signing up at that friendly green bar at the top of the site and you'll get immediate access. I change this book about every week because as you know, there's a lot going on in the self-publishing and technology industry and a lot of great things for authors, a lot of changes, a lot of companies who are expanding their services. Some might be shutting down, uh, some may be merging. So this is where you can trust to find the latest information. And if you have information that I don't, there is a feedback area below each page of the web book so that you can let me know. So let me tell you about the podcast and the kind of people that I have on. I wanted it to be short, no chit chat about the weather or any upcoming events, just getting right to what is the product tool or service and what it's meant to do for you. I want to say that mostly I have people on who are, if not friends, but people I know either personally from my work at selfpubbootcamp.com and the San Francisco Writers Conference and the IBPA and other conferences that I attend and speak at. And a lot of these are the self-publishing services companies, companies that you know, like Smashwords and draft to digital and Ingram Spark. The others that you might not know are Publish, Drive, StreetLib, and Scribble. These are the companies where you upload your documents and you get your book distributed in ebook and or print book format. I've also had on Chrissy Monroe of Kobo Writing Life, which is a direct-to-retailer tool just for Kobo. They've really expanded their reach since the e-commerce giant Rakuten acquired them, and they also provide ebook services to Walmart online. So that's pretty cool. Let's go down the list and talk about the other guests I'm having on this season one of the Author Friendly Podcast. I talk with Elizabeth Mays of Pressbooks. In fact, that's the company, that's the website that hosts my Consumer's Guide for Self-Publishers web book. I've created several books with Pressbooks and it exports to PDF and EPUB and Mobi in web book format. Crowdfunding tools like PubLaunch, Greg Yanu, who uh, launched the PubLaunch tool, is also the publisher of Iguana Books, which is a hybrid press and uh, past president of the Editors Association of Canada. You'll also hear about full service companies like Book Baby. I talk with Stephen Spots in New Jersey and Gatekeeper Press. I talk with Rob Price in Ohio. I usually recommend one or the other of these services for people who just want to publish one legacy book or authors who are simply too busy to handle their own book formatting, editing, and production tasks themselves. If you want to get an author website, you're going to love my conversation with John Burke in Carlsbad, California about PubSite, which is a website builder just for authors and books. Yeah, so no fooling around with WordPress anymore. This is an awesome tool. But before you even get started publishing, I always like to advise sharing your work. And to that end, I've interviewed a couple of people. Uh, One is Beta Books, uh, Paul Fitzpatrick in North Carolina. Uh, Their offices are in San Francisco as well. And Len App in Victoria, BC, a co-founder of LeanPub, which is an iterative publishing tool where you can start beta publishing and publishing your book serially and starting to get feedback. And both of those tools, you'll work directly with your early readers. Okay. 
communicating with your fellow writers and professionals is also important. So I've interviewed Lori McLean, director of the San Francisco Writers Conference, and Angela Bull in Huntington Beach, California, who is the CEO of the IBPA, and that's the Independent Book Publishers Association. I also talk with a few people who are involved with editing and electronic editing tools. In the copy editing category, I talk with Brian Cohen in Chicago of Best Page Forward is a copywriting service to make your book descriptions awesome. And First Editing, who is managed by Joe Ellen Taylor, who's based actually in Norway. I love this global community we have. Finally, Christina Stanley, co-founder of Fictionary, is in Victoria, B.C. Fictionary is quite the magical story editing program, so I hope you will give that a try. As with most of these tools and services, there are trial periods, so you can see if it's for you. And to start off the marketing competitive research phase of the podcast, which I think I'll really delve into Next season, I have Dave Chesson from KDP Rocket uh, in the last episode of this season's podcast. I wanted to include it because I think that market research and competitive analysis is one of the first things you need to do when you start writing. And KDP Rocket certainly is one of those tools, along with Amazon Advanced Search, that will help you figure out if you're writing to the market that you think you're writing to. Again, uh, let me just mention the people from the companies that you know. Uh, Smashwords is Mark Coker here in Silicon Valley. Uh, Kevin Tomlinson at draft to digital I believe he's in Texas, but he's a traveler like me, so you never know where you're going to find him. Uh, Robin Cutler is director of Ingram Spark. I actually have two episodes. Our conversation went long, and I really do want to keep these to about a half an hour so that I can respect your time. I know you're busy. Ingram Spark is based in Tennessee, but Robin is in Albuquerque. Publish Drive is interesting. It began in Hungary, founded by Kinga Gentetics, who was named a 30 under 30 entrepreneur. They also have offices in New York City. I talk with Street Libs' AC de Fambel, who is from Lyon, France. She lives there, which is kind of fun because I was living there years ago when I was working as a tech writer, and I love that city so much. The company's founder is in Italy. They also have offices in the U.S. And finally, Colin Higby, also on the East Coast. So I've got global representation. I really wanted to get the self-publishing services companies all done in this first season of the podcast, mostly because I wanted you to be able to listen and compare their services. You may want to go with the usual suspects, but look at the little known companies and see what features and services they offer because they may offer something that's attractive to you. And don't forget, as long as you own your own ISBNs, you are free to move from service to service as you wish, unless there's a contract stipulating that you can't. And most of these companies do not have that. If you want to delve deeper into ISBNs and other aspects of the business of publishing, just go to the blog at selfpubbootcamp.com and put ISBNs or whatever you need to learn about into the search box and you'll find the posts on that. I offer a lot of free resources and I also have courses free and paid at selfpubbootcampcourses.com if you need a little bit more help in your publishing education. But the Author Friendly Podcast is a really good start because you hear from these people who have been in the business for so long, and some of them created their companies because they were authors or publishers who were trying to do something that they were not able to do. So they solved their own problem and then opened it up to the world. So that is really the best way to start a business. And really, I have to say that most of these people began their businesses that way. And I think they have a lot of heart and a lot of insight. We all have opinions. We talk a lot about things like hybrid publishing and hybrid authors and hybrid services. That is really a theme in a lot of these interviews. Also about beta publishing, getting early readers, 
publishing to professional standards so that your book looks just like a book that's published by HarperCollins. There's no reason that your book cannot look exactly like one. So uh, just getting an imprint and figuring that out is a big step ahead and will set you way above all of the crazy bad self-published books that people find on Amazon. Sorry about that, people. There are a lot of books published and you have to find a way to make yours stand out. And all of these guests have suggestions, best practices, and tips for you to make sure that you succeed in your self-publishing journey. I think there's going to be 22 episodes by the end of it. So I hope you enjoy it and learn from it. And again, please subscribe. Go to authorfriendly.com. You can find the podcast on iTunes and Stitcher and everywhere that you listen to podcasts. And keep in touch with the Consumer's Guide subscription. I'll be sending you updates as needed to the products, tools, and services that I trust to help you in your self-publishing journey. Thanks for listening. 